morning and welcome to our thought for the day. I want to read you the verses that I read to you yesterday morning from Matthew chapter 15 <clears throat> and verse 22. And it says, And behold, a woman of Canaan came out of the same coast and cried unto him, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, thou son of David. My daughter is grievously vexed with the devil. But he answered her, Not a word. And his disciples came and besought him, saying, Send her away, for she crieth after us. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Then came she and worshipped him, saying, Lord, help me. But he answered and said, it is, not meet to take the, uh, is it not meet to take the children's bread and to cast it to dogs? And she said, Truth, Lord, yet the dogs eat of the crumbs which fall from their master's table. Then Jesus answered and said unto her, O woman, great is thy faith, be it unto thee even as thou wilt. And her daughter was made whole from that very hour. Let's continue and follow this lady on her journey of faith and pray that God will allow us to believe and trust and to see results because of our faith in our Saviour. We concluded our thought yesterday morning by saying that Jesus was silent. But we said there was a reason for this silence. You see, we must remember that he will not fail us. For we are told that he will never leave us and he will never forsake us. He never lies. And today you may say, I'm continuing to trust and I'm continuing to pray, but it seems as though I'm speaking to a brick wall. Can I just say to you, friends, God hasn't forsaken you. Or you say, God hasn't spoken to me for so long. I want to tell you, friends, he's bringing you into a deeper relationship with himself. He's maturing you and, and he's molding you so that he is able to use you. You see, you can look at a flower and it's so beautiful, but it has spent half its life in the darkness, but still it grows. And often in our darkest hour, that is when God seems to be so silent. And yet it is often in our darkest hour that God is doing his greatest work in our lives. Can you imagine if that lady had left when Jesus hadn't answered her? Her daughter, who was in a desperate need, would never have known release. But she kept believing. Matthew chapter 7 and verse 7 says, Ask and it shall be given you. Seek and he shall find, knock and it shall be opened unto you. And I want to tell you this morning, friends, keep asking, keep seeking, keep knocking for the sake of your loved ones and God will deliver them. Faith simply means don't give up. Don't give up. Keep trusting in our mighty Savior. You see, the true prayer of faith will not be stopped by discouraging disciples. Remember your faith is in Christ, not in men. Doubt and discouragement takes the life of you. Remember Joshua and Caleb on the edge of the promised land, the land we are told that was flowing with milk and honey. And some of the disciples says, ah, but there's giants in there. You know, there's always going to be giants before us. But don't look to the giants, but look to the God who is greater than all the giants. You see, the disciples with Jesus said, send her away. But Jesus never sends anyone away and it says that she worshipped him friends trusting him and keep worshipping him god will reward you god told joshua to be strong and to be courageous because the lord your god is with you wherever you go and if god be with us who can be against us he that is in you is greater than he that is in the world. And you may be saying, but I'm in an impossible situation. And God says, at last, at last, I can now show you that I am the God of the impossible. You must always remember, friends, that this God was there when you were born. He will be there when you die. And he is there every moment in between. He may be in a pit like Joseph was, but God took him out of the pit and put him into the palace. And he will take you out of your pit of despair and he will bring you into great deliverance and great joy. Let's continue, friends, on this journey of faith tomorrow and see what God does when we trust in him and keep serving him. God bless you. I'll speak with you tomorrow morning.